Hi, I'm Fanatics Joe. I'd like to talk about two reality TV shows. The first one is MasterChef Junior, a cooking competition for kids between the age of 8 and uh, 13 years. It's now in its seventh season with uh, Rod uh, Gordon Ramsay as one of its judges. Besides being amazed by the kid's incredible culinary talent, I'm impressed with how confidently they talk with judges and how composed they are under pressure. Let's watch this clip. Eddie, where are you from? I'm from New York City. Tell me about the dish. Chicken masala. Oh, chicken masala. masala. Just one. Yeah. Okay, right. Uh, it's a fortified wine masala. You should not be drinking at your age. I'm not drinking. Uh, excuse me, you just drank alcohol. Look, the alcohol totally cooks out. <laughs> Seriously, all jokes apart. Who's the best cook at home? Me. Uh, it's you. Yeah. Good luck. The second show I like to talk about is Caught in Providence, which showcases real life municipal court cases in a city called Providence in Rhode Island, USA. It features Judge Frank Caprio, whom I consider the fairest judge on this planet. But it isn't only his sense of justice that endears him to me, it's also how he takes the effort to listen to everyone who's summoned before him. Let's watch this clip. You, uh, what school do you go to? I go to a school near like um, the Providence Center yeah, School. Yeah, the Providence Center School. He's on the autism spectrum and has ADHD. Oh, he appears to be very intelligent. A lot of hard work goes into yeah. that. <laughs> very articulate, and you make a nice impression. And I love to draw. Drawing is my favorite thing ever. That's good. What do you, what do you want to do when you get out of school? Anything um, special? I want to go to a good college and, like, probably do something successful, but I don't know yet. I have a lot of options. It's kind of hard to decide when you're at this age still especially when you're like 20 and it's like you don't know what to do because like at some points you want to do what you want to do but then again you don't want to disappoint your family in any type of way you are speaking with the maturity of an adult he's, he's very mature you have a very excellent way of expressing yourself you do a great job you may want to think of doing something in that area i'm not sure you give me the impression of someone who wants to help other people He's got a really good heart. Thank you, sir. Now, you make a great presentation. Now, we've got to talk about your mother. Your mother has four red light violations. In MasterChef Junior, the reason that boy, his nine-year-old Eddie Levine, could converse with Gordon Ramsay as an equal is that he speaks well. When we don't speak well, we worry about two things. One, what to say. Two, how to say it. And while we are worrying about these, we lose focus on two other things, understanding what we're hearing and, well, basically constructing our response. No such problem with young Eddie here. He could banter with the chief torturer from Hell's Kitchen. So, speaking well translates to confidence. In the case of Judge Frank Caprio, he was able to devote all his attention to 12-year-old Arian, even though the boy is autistic. Because, well, firstly, he was genuinely interested in the boy's story. But he also already speaks well. You see, when we don't speak well, our mind starts to think about how to respond, even as the other person is still talking. When we don't speak well, we tend to not give the talker our full attention. From my phonetics and business communication classes, I know many people fear speaking up. But the real problem is not with speaking up, it's with not being able to express themselves clearly or that they'll say something wrongly. Because of this, they are reluctant to speak, even when they have something useful to say. The good news is that being able to express ourselves clearly is something we can learn. Yes, it is fixable. And it all starts with building a strong foundation of speech. For that, phonetics is the answer. So you too can be as confident as 9-year-old Eddie Levine and as motivational as Judge Frank Caprio. It all starts with phonetics. 
write to me and ask me about my next class. Have a great day.